Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. I installed a hidden camera in the house and caught my girlfriend cheating. What the hell do I even begin? For the last two years my girlfriend, 20, has been living with me, 21 male, and my family, been together for almost four. She got into a big quarrel with her father and decided to leave. My mother, ever the kind hostess, volunteered to let her live with us. Of course, I consented, since I loved her. Love. In a relationship, I've always felt a little envious, but not terribly jealous. I realize the title implies differently, but that was the only way to get to the truth. My suspicions initially surfaced about a year ago, while playing the board game Codenames with my sister, point of four, her boyfriend, point of four, and the cheating babe, let's call her Stacy. Stacy and my sister's boyfriend were on the same squad, and I didn't like the vibe they were putting off straight immediately. He was taunting her about some nonsense, and she was laughing at all of his jokes. It all seemed a little too flirty to me, and I wasn't having any of it. That night, I told her about it, and she said it was nothing, without a doubt. During this period, I was attending school and working as a chef, so I was out of the home the majority of the time. Some days, I didn't get home until after midnight. My parents, as well as my sister, worked from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My girlfriend only worked on weekends and did her schoolwork online. My sister's boyfriend works in construction, but he has a two-week on, two-week off schedule. Stacy and my sister's boyfriend spent the most of the day at home alone. Since that board game night, my doubts have only grown. Stacy would no longer look at him while they were in the same room. They'd make infrequent small chat. I could sense that the nature of their relationship had shifted. I approached Stacy again, wondering why she was suddenly behaving so uneasy with him, and she said that it was because she didn't want to upset me. I felt horrible at this moment for making her feel guilty. I promised myself that I would never bring it up again, and I kept my word, until six days ago, that is. I was resting down on the sofa in the living room upstairs. Stacy was preparing a smoothie in the kitchen, which was only partially visible from where I was. My sister's boyfriend walks downstairs and begins preparing lunch for himself. I couldn't see what they were doing, but I pretended not to notice as I held my phone up to my face. I could just make out their silhouettes and the rear door's glass reflection. They were moving around each other, trying to do their own thing, when he smacks her behind. I was frozen at the time. Every bit of me erupted. I got up from the sofa once my sister's boyfriend returned upstairs, walked to the front door, and put my shoes on. Stacy approaches me and asks, where are you going? And I simply said, really? I watched what just occurred, I said as I walked away, slamming the door behind me. She rushed after me, becoming enraged and attempting to pretend as if nothing had occurred. I told her what I observed, which enraged her even more, a refraction. So you're admitting you didn't even notice it at the time. You believed you saw it, and you wanted to see it in order to justify your psychotic thinking. She's threatening to end our relationship at this point. She's announcing her intention to move out and live on her own, making me feel bad by claiming she's poor and will have to drop out of school to work full-time at, at this moment, as much as I wanted to stop it all and let her go. I expressed my regret. I apologized profusely, begged her to remain, and swore never to bring it up again. It took a lot of persuasion but she ultimately agreed to remain and we strolled back to the home. But I was aware of what I was seeing, all I needed was strong proof. I purchased a little black concealed camera from Amazon the same night. When it came, I placed it in the living room near the kitchen, at the corner of one of the drapes. When everyone was still sleeping the following morning, two days ago, I pulled out the chip, inserted it into the USB, and rapidly glanced through the film on my laptop. Nothing. I cleaned up the area and replaced the chip in the camera. Then finally yesterday, I received what I desired. I awoke before everyone else and examined the chip. At 3.15 a.m., I saw my sister's boyfriend gently stroll downstairs and settle on the sofa. Stacy emerges from our room a few minutes later. I couldn't stand it any longer as she walked up to him and sat on his lap. I was really taken aback. The girl I spent four years with, the girl I believed I'd spend the rest of my life with, my sister's boyfriend is having an affair with me. All this time, you've been lying to me, making me feel terrible. I returned downstairs, roused Stacy, positioned the laptop in front of her, and began watching the movie. She immediately closed it and froze as she understood what was going on. For what seemed like an age, nothing was spoken. 
She began weeping and struggling to speak until I eventually intervened. You're the most devious, repulsive sociopath I've ever encountered. I'm going to email this to everyone you know if you don't start packing it right now. We're finished. What followed was a very lengthy, pitiful, awful excuse for an apology that I won't even get into. She eventually phoned her father, who came over and took her up, so I think she'll be living with her family again. A lot of her stuff is still here, and she doesn't have any friends to transport it to her, so I'm not sure what to do with it all. My sister's boyfriend, on the other hand, has been booted out of the home and now has his own apartment someplace. Who knows, maybe Stacy may move in with him. I don't care. Story 2. Me, 30 male, with my wife, 31 female, married 5 years, she cheated. Very complex situation, looking for support. We married in 2008 and have a very happy and healthy relationship. When we couldn't become pregnant, we went to the doctor, who diagnosed her with endometriosis. In 2012, she had surgery. Immediately after surgery, the doctor administered Lupron, a powerful hormone-altering medicine that effectively placed her body into artificial menopause in order to give her uterus a rest and clean out the remaining endometrioma that the operation had missed. Things changed right away. It was like PMS multiplied by 100, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, constant squabbling, etc. I simply smirked and bore it since I knew it was the medicine. Things improved after a 6-month regimen of Lupron yet something seemed to miss. So about a month ago, I discovered texts from a friend of mine to her that essentially stated, don't worry, he doesn't know anything and so on. When I confronted her, she burst into tears. The affair, she was feeling lonely, unhappy, and suicidal around two months into the Lepron injections. She began confiding in a common acquaintance, and before long, they were having. That quickly escalated into a full-fledged romance. She was torn, she loved me, she believed she loved him, and she didn't know what to do. This went on for nearly four months. She'd come to her senses after the Lepron and told him she'd made a mistake and wanted to save what was left of our marriage. He was wounded, but he understood. That was back in January of 2013. This is when things go from bad to worse. For almost four months, they severed practically all relations. His wife then discovered previous messages exposing the affair and saw for divorce. They had four children together, at this time, his world was spinning out of control, but he was still a good friend of mine, and he could imagine us continuing our happy life together as his marriage was failing. He called my wife and essentially said, You wrecked my marriage, and if you don't start sleeping with me again and being emotionally available to me, I'm going to tell your husband everything and ruin your marriage. My wife was well aware that I had a zero tolerance for adultery and that it would spell the end of our life together. She resumed sleeping with him. This happened in July of 2013, that lasted around nine months. Then I discovered. Either twice in my home over the nine months he was threatening her for. She wouldn't have with him in our house, and there were a few of instances when he grew irritated because she wasn't a good enough friend to him and came over while I was at work and pushed her. Since I discovered out, she has broken all links, turned me her passwords, and enabled me to follow her phone, among other things. We'd begun seeing a therapist we enjoy, and it's helping. Soon after I discovered out, I walked in on her preparing to cut her wrists. I can see how troubled she is by her guilt. She is hesitant to pursue charges because of how public it would become and the fact that it seems to an observer to be just a normal old affair. I kind of agree. However, I have a text from him that proves the threats. My wife is wonderful. We had a fantastic marriage. They finished one other sentences, had the same sense of humor, and simply clicked. This has been the worst thing I could have hoped for. I want this to work as much as she does. But a part of me worries that I'll never be able to trust her again. I understand that this is beyond the scope of Reddit. But I'm just searching for assistance. In some ways, writing this is therapeutic. Is it a fool of me to attempt to make this work?